Hey, I'm back. Whew. Let me get all this out and we'll get back to it. Hey, y'all. I'm back with my third craft supply haul. This is all junk journaling. There might be a couple things. I doubt if there's any jewelry stuff in here. But it's all junk journaling. So I'm with an organization. So I'm going to scoot some stuff out of the way and we're going to get started. We're not even playing around today. I thought I had all the paper and stuff in my first one. But I guess I didn't. So this was $1.28. I got 12 pieces. I got 12 pieces. It looks like it's some kind of retro cards. I think this goes on the packs from the last one. These are thick. Oh, these are envelopes. Envelopes. Okay, I didn't did not remember that. Look how cute these are. These are I'll give you about approximate. This is my junk journaling one. I melted the ends of this to get to rip my paper and make it real pretty. So that's why it's not very good at measuring anymore. So about three and three fourths by three, two and three fourths. So you get 12 pieces. Okay, let me see. I can't even handle stuff today. These are cute. I'm losing my son. It's going off to the side here. Let's see if I can't move over a little bit more. So I get 12 of them for $1.28. And they're cute little envelopes. And you take the small papers and put them in an envelope. That way you can uh, jump them. Next is Age of Steam. This is like a Victorian steampunk. And they are papers, I assume. I didn't see a tag to even have my, my price on here. I have no clue. So anything I have no clue of, I'll when I research it, because I have to go back months to find these, I'll put the price on there for you. But it's the Age of Steam. Oh, it's like a little, little suitcase, luggage. Oh, you know we got to uh, junk journal with this. Oh yeah, you know we do. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Okay, this is the... Please someone help me. Is it the vellum or bellum? It's the, the waxy type paper. But that is the picture of that. Oh, so each piece you get... Each piece comes with one of each. And I used to watch, well, not used to watch, I watch Natasha from Treasure Books. And she's made a lot of stuff with that. And I can't remember if Pam at Paper Outpost has. Um, I haven't been to watch a lot of videos here lately. You yeah, know, I've been watching my girl Crafty Glam for 77, but uh, I haven't been watching my junk journal uh, videos as much. So you get that. How many is there? Five, six, ten different, ten different uh, sets. I went through and did this real quick. Get five sets for 78 cents, and I got the color gold, and this is 118 inch. And they are for junk journaling for the, the front of the junk journal. And like I said, you get five sets. And you screw them on to the front of the book or the junk journal, and you know, you put the latch. The latch like that whoops 
I can't even do it my fingers okay let me pull my drawer out here I'm glad everything's like I got this from Amazon Boku money so what you do is you get you a uh, well, small I got big brads and little brads you get your brad here and you're going to put it through you're not going to use screws so see then you put that through your junk journal or you could just glue it oops alright now where do you go there it is see I'm serious about junk journal you know. it's got a big lip there but you can feel that lip in and you could put you a brad or just glue you anything right there but you get five sets of these and they are the 118 one eighteenth. And like I said, you can't touch 78 cents. You can't get those 78 cents at Lowe's or Home Depot or any hardware store. Next are the book corners. And I had to count this, but you get 12 each. Ugh. And I'm sure somewhere in my other haul, somewhere... Oh my god, I can't get nothing open. I just put my nails on yesterday. Because I'll start chewing on my fingers again. I can't chew on my fingers. You get 12 sets for 78 cents. And these are the, the metal ends for books. You'd think I would have a book here. Let's pretend this is a book. You know how like you have the end pieces and this is very movable so if they're bent you just you put them on the corners of the of the books oh, he's got to be all twisted up but there's 12 I have to get my rubber hammer out to him but you get 12 pieces it looks like they're about a couple inches by a couple inches One and a half by one and a half, and you get 12 of them. Like I said, I always get it in three colors, usually the silver, the gold, and the rose gold. So you get 12 of those for 78 cents. And they're just to decorate my junk journals, and I got it in rose gold. Well, this system didn't want to open up while I go. And here's what the rose gold looks like. Gorgeous. Like I said, you get 12 for 78 cents. This back up here. I got more of the alien tape strips for 78 cents. Uh, see, I should remember I just did that haul this is what you do when you can't get in packages you go to Dollar Tree and you get you this little tool for the vinyl weeding and you just rip on through it okay and it's the same as a while ago just in case you didn't see the video but you get 60 of those I think I'm going to leave one set here in the office and Take one set in the house. For 78 cents. I got an ink pad. I probably already had gold. It was 68 cents. And I bought this set. Uh, a set of this from Amazon. When I started junk drilling, I went full force and went crazy. Buying everything. Because everybody else was making it with the... So all this was from Amazon. I got it all together. There's the gold I got from Amazon. So it's a different gold. See, that's two different shades. But this was 68 cents, and I guarantee you this was a lot more. I probably paid about 20 or 30 dollars for all these, if not more. And probably about 30. 
looks like for fabric and wood and paper. Hopefully I can remember to click this out. So I'm going to show y'all what it is. Well, y'all know what it is if y'all here for junk journaling. Looks like it's got some color to it. If you want to go leaf anything. Oh, that's a pretty gold. Like if you want to antique it. Yeah. Haven't I haven't been doing this in years. It's been two years since I've made a junk journal. Or doing it in spirit, I guess. But yeah, 68 cents. So that was a great deal for that. So I can throw this down there in the bottom now. Is it a nice look? I'm not gonna have my fingers. See my fingers? Okay, what's next? So let's put this off to the side. I wanted some scissors for, and I don't have the price on this either, so I have to get the price for this. For my rows of vinyl when I'm pulling it off of my machine over there, my big machine. And I ended up getting those black ones as you've seen in my last video. So I thought these would be good for fu fussy cutting. Oh, Lord Jesus. You know how if you ever got in and you're cutting around stuff like this right here, you want some small scissors because you cannot use no big scissors. So that's what I got this for, for fussy cutting for my ephemera, for my junk journal. See the bird on it? Isn't it cute? I want to say this was under a dollar. But yeah, that's... Where's the turn one? Next I got the handkerchiefs. I got six handkerchiefs for three fifty nine. dollars I don't know how good that is. But they look more Victorian and more vintage than uh, most. And you can also tea dye them or coffee dye them. But you get two of each color. And there's the pink. And this is also for, for journaling. But I might use some of it inside. I don't know yet. And you get the blue. Blue with the orange. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I love blue and orange together. It's so gorgeous. Well, I guess it's pink and orange, too. See, I wasn't even paying attention. Pink and orange. And then you just got orange, orange, orange and white. So those are gorgeous. And those are, uh, looks like they're about 12 by 12. Yep, 12 by 12. So that was a good deal. I haven't decided how I'm going to use them, but like I said, I could just lay them around my house since my house is Victorian. I could just lay them around the house. So I got six for $3.59. Next, I got gold leafing, or what I call gold leafing. It's $3.14 gold foil. 10 grams of golden foil. So foil. And I got the copper or rose gold. Rose gold. To me, it looks like it's copper. Where's my copper? You know, I got everything here. Everything that on me. There's copper. I helped my husband strip the carpet wires that was left over when we was doing the wiring on this uh, building, on my craft building, for I can make wind chimes. So this rose dough looks more like copper to me. My Dollar Tree scissors. And this was, it was all three fourteen each. So that's some big flakes there. Oh, some I guess they got out. See the go flow? And it's so light, but there's a lot of material here. Oh, goodness. Thank goodness. Whoa. It is packed full. And I don't exactly remember why I bought these. What I thought I was going to go leaf. 
but it's always something nice to have on hand. Like I said, see? Copper wire, but they're calling it gold leaf, uh, rose gold. I'm telling you, I got everything in here. Anything you want to make, I probably got stuff to make it with. I, I don't have just one hobby. I have a lot. I have fake, fake stuff. I make my reefs. I make my, my t-shirts. And I hope, I don't know if y'all even familiar with fake bakes. I make wind chimes. I would love to get into making kinetics. The big wind things. Like Anthony Howe. Oh my god, if you ever see him on YouTube, check him out. Okay, let me get all this back up. Okay, here we have organization. I only bought one of these and I don't know how much it was because I didn't write the price tag on there. But I got this. I know it's for my jewelry to see if these were going to be good for it. And of course they're not. They're just too little for me. I'm sure <coughs> my husband can find something. It's tiny. What is that, an inch? Inch and a half? A little, little over an inch. So, I guess diamond painting and stuff like that, I don't do that. That's just too little for me. Uh, so yeah, I got two of these. They were $6.69 each. You get one big container and 12 small containers. I try my best to make sure I got all the details on there for y'all. That way I'll have them. But I guess I... Oh, here's the measurements. 2.12 by 2.12 by 7... 0 0.79. And that would be the inside things. Like I said, you get one big box and you get 12 of these. And these are the 2.12 things. And I got these for charms. I know it's what are charms or neck uh, earring pieces. I know I got them because I will show y'all my. This is all from Timu. I'll show you what I use from Dollar Tree. Right now, I'm storing all the. And the tackle box things are the things you get from Dollar These are all Timu. I've probably done a video on them. But these are all for my junk journal and journal uh, jewelry making. But I'm trying to separate them. I just grab them. Like this is all Christmas. This is all Halloween. This is just Lowe's go, whatever. This is Easter the teas and stuff and these are just balls full of different things but that's what I got them in right now I see so I also need stuff for like my uh, this all came from Amazon for the light bulb pins to make the junk journaling for my tassels and stuff. I need some kind of organization and storage for these before I could take them out of these bags. So these might work for that. But I got another Timu, Timu haul that's got all a lot of charms in it. But that's what I got right now and this is really, really heavy. So I'm hoping like this would work. I don't know if it's going to or not. We'll have to see. I might just I don't know. We're just going to have to see. I got a lot of stuff. So I have to stay organized or I get complete chaos where I can't build anything or make anything. So I got two of these. Like I said, I'll give this to my husband because it's just way too little for me. Okay, next is the last stuff is my washi tape. So... I got some containers from Joann's or Michael's. I'm not really sure which one. It was on sale one day. So I got like six or nine of them. They were like an investment. 
like $14 on sale from $24. Uh, so, for washi tape. So, we'll start here. We'll start the little, so I guess, and go to the biggest. Okay. This was the Alice in Wonderland theme one. Remember, I says I want I want to make a junk journal for that, and this is 16 foot and four inches. It was a dollar 88, and it's called Through the Looking Glass. Let me see. There's my little thingy. They don't make this easy. Oops. Oh, then tore up one. I told my husband we're having pizza tonight because I'm going to get all of these out of the way for they will be done. And that way I can start using this stuff. And that way I can post it whenever, uh, like once or twice a week. Okay. They really don't make this easy. So I'm just guessing I'm going to mess up that one that I did. Watch me get this open and then... Oh shoot, there's the thing. Y'all are probably going, Carol Sue, there it is. There it is, girl. Can't you see? No, I can't see. So this is like a washi tape. But they're stamped. See how you pull it off? Right there. Let me see. What's on the back of this? Is that dark enough to see? And, see, I told you I was going to do that and find the beginning of it. There it is. Okay, that's where it starts. But you see how it's got different ones. And there's the clock. And they look like stamps. Let me just pull them apart. Let's see if I got any of these that doesn't. Oh, yeah, they already got stamps on these. Those are nice little stickers. If you don't mess them up trying to find the beginning of them. So, get about 16 foot of that. So that's pretty good. Here's the next set. And if you recognize these boxes, I've gotten other uh, designs, other, what do you call it, seasons or themes of this. So I get 10 rows for $2.38. Tell you, I use this thing for everything but what it's supposed to be for. I'm very spoiled to the tools I have for vinyl weeding. Weeding. And I bought tape from uh, Worshi Tape from Amazon. And y'all know the sellers that sells the Timu sells to Amazon and Walmart and, and Michaels and whoever else. And they just charge more money on the other places. So I've got some washi tape from Amazon, like this big box here. I think I paid $30 for it on Amazon. How can I not write the prices on these? What is wrong with me? Y'all are gonna have to forgive me today. Oh my God, I don't know. I'm gonna have to put this on there too. And I sit there and looked at everything before I started. But here's the tape. It's a nice, you can see it, it's nice. I don't have a credit card or card to rip it off right now. But you get 10 rows for $2.38. And like I said, I've been organizing them as I've been doing my hauls. But I know I'm gonna need help. They're probably gonna be changed around multiple times. And I don't know how to log them. I've seen someone log them, but now I don't remember how she did it. 
So this was two dollars and ninety-eight cents. So this is more than that, and I see you got less, less of it. Oh, this has got gold fulling in it. And you get one, two, three, four, five. And this is a bigger size. This is Asian inspired. I like a lot of Asian inspired stuff. Yes, you can see. No clue what that is. I don't remember. And it's got the gold leafing in it. Oh, this is gorgeous. Let me move you a little bit. See the gold in the sun. Oh, this is nice and sticky. And that's gorgeous. So I got five of these. For is it two ninety eight for five? Next is more Asian spard. This was six dollars and seventy eight cents. It's called A Busting. Is the pattern, and I'm pretty sure you. Probably about 15 rows since that was five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, 15 rows for six dollars 78 cents. And like I said, you could keep these boxes and use parts of them for junk journaling. Wow, that's gorgeous. And these all come individually packed. Got that. Got a pink set, pink and gold. And then you got a multicolored one. So 15 for six something. Next is this big one here. It was $5.94. And I got a price adjustment. 30, excuse me, 35 cents off, which made it $5.59. And it says vintage style. And it gotta, kinda got crunched up in shipping. Great box, y'all. Y'all know what I'm gonna say. Junk, ooh, junk journaling. My goodness, it's crunched up good. 24 rows, and each row is 9.84 foot. And it's washi tape. Oh, wow. Look, y'all. Look. Wow. Each row has what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in this row. Seven in that row. Oh, got one there. Oh, wow. Like I said, it's, it's been a while since I ordered these. <gasps> wow. That's about, what, two and a half, three inches there? So almost three inches. Look at that one. That's gorgeous. Wow. I haven't never used a washi tape this big. Comment down below, y'all, what is your favorite item so far of each one of the videos? Because I am I forgot to ask. I forget to tell y'all. Comment which one y'all like. What do you think about this? 24 rows for what was it? See, I can't remember nothing. $5.59. Wow, they're gorgeous. They're really gorgeous. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm gonna have to to get me some time for journaling. I got to. I'm just going crazy because I'm not making it. Now, like I said, I got my Halloween journal. I have not used it, but I look at it because it's so gorgeous. I love. It's beautiful. 
This is 100. I don't know what the 100 means. Like I said, I don't read. It doesn't even have the little white label on it. Oh, where it is. 1075. I know it's not 100 rows. There's no way it could be 100 rows. Yeah. It's 100 rows, y'all. For $10. Because it keeps saying 100, 100, 100. Oh, wow. And I can see there's about 10 rows in each one. So $10.75. And I bet you I had the prices on everything else and I just couldn't see them. How much I want to bet? See? $10.75. Oh, wow. Look at... You could use this for a shaker, a shaker thing, shaker envelope. Mm -hmm. Wow, y'all, look. You get 100 rows. For, I don't even know where to start. Got these little bitty ones. I have never used the little bitty ones yet. I'm like kid in Christmas. I really am. Yeah, I've had this here for, for four or five months, but... I haven't got to use it or look at any of it. It's just been sitting here. It's got a good stick to it, y'all. Oh, wow. I guess I'm going to be making me an Asian-inspired journal. Have y'all made one? Have y'all seen an Asian-inspired journal? I haven't. But I'm going to have to make one. Look at all this cool stuff. Wow, look at this one. I love the movie Memoirs of a Geisha. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, 100 rows, 10 in each one, for $10.75. And I'll bet you didn't even that price now. So, yeah, I hope y'all liked my video today. Like I said, I'm, I am like, yeah, I want a junk journal so bad right now. So I hope y'all like this. And if you like what you see, please just take the time to subscribe to my channel. It helps me out more than you can understand. But I appreciate it and I hope y'all liked it and I'll see y'all again soon. Bye y'all.